if you're looking for the ultimate desktop controller for your ATEM switcher, I bet this is it. It's not ultimate in the sense that it has the most buttons and knobs and everything. But since we specialize in easing the operation of broadcast hardware for people making live video, we think that the ultimate controller is one that only gives you what is necessary and takes everything else away. And that's what you can always do with our controllers to customize. So this controller is elegant, simple in the layout. You have 10 buttons on each select row. You have uh, an updated button section over here. We have thrown in the innovative smart switch menu that allows you an easy way, including how you can configure it, to add functionality to your controller as you need it. And also we have integrated our upgraded CPU platform that always gives you the option of power over ethernet. You see there's only one cable coming to this controller. That's all it takes to power it and allow it to communicate. This is the preview row. We have currently only eight inputs on the ATEM switcher. It's a, an old one ME. This is the program select row. If I hold the shift key, I would be able to access sources 11 through 20 if I had uh, a larger M, uh, ATEM switcher connected. We have an updated button section over here with cut auto fade to black and uh, downstream key open one. Uh, up here we have key uh, um, one and two enable button. We can select color generators as source, black and bars as source, and uh, media player one and two as source. And the shift key is what allows us access to um, the button under or over the line. So as I now enable upstream key one, and I hold the shift key, I have access to uh, upstream key two, uh, like that. Now I release the shift key. Here we have a classic uh, text-based menu. Currently, by default, it will tell you what the system inform uh, information uh, is, which is showing you the connection status. It's OK. As I turn the knob, you see we can uh, select and adjust auxiliary source uh, for auxiliary one and um, media player two um, selections, um, transition style for ME1, and then back to system information. And down here we have the exciting new innovative smart switch menu that like uh, this one is also a type of menu system where as you press the button, you can cycle through options and uh, adjust them with this knob. All this functionality is actually governed by a web interface. You can change it really easily with no programming at all. You just press the config button with a pen tip on the back of your controller to bring it into configuration mode. And as you do that, you can access an awesome web interface that looks like this with a nice graphical representation of your controller. And guess what? If you wanted to change the functionality of this button, you simply click that button on the controller here and it will jump right down to the configuration of that button. So we can see in accordance with what we have just seen, as I press this button, it will toggle upstream key one. If I hold down the shift key, it allows me access to toggling upstream key two. And um, let's take the button just next to, it's the next one you see here in the, in the list. As I press it, color generator one is selected as source for preview, color generator two as source for preview. If we take something like the menu, how can I configure the menu? Let's go to the top again. I press the encoder menu icon, and here you can see that this menu contains four items, system information, adjustment of auxiliary output source, auxiliary one. You can see I'm obviously able to also select this for auxiliary two through six. Media still for media player one or two. In this case, it allows me to cycle through as I turn the knob and finally the transition style for ME1. And if I wanted to add functionality to the menu, all I needed to do was press the plus icon and then I can select new features from this 
long and comprehensive list of ATEM features. This is all thanks to the new universal firmware we offer in all our controllers from Skahoy.